Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County at Bidji Welcome. Uh, this is episode number two of Riding with Smoke, which is my um, my new series where you join me for a ride to work in the morning where I'm just going to freestyle and talk about a particular topic related to grills, outdoor kitchens, and eventually appliances. I'm sure this will help in some capacity. So uh, let's get to it. Today we're going to talk about the difference between the Series 9 and the Series 7 DCS grills. Uh, we sell a lot of these uh, products and the, the question comes up all the time, what's the difference between the both of them? Um, we're going to dig a little deeper and talk about some things which probably aren't discussed at the top level. Um, DCS Series 7, which is very similar in build to the uh, DCS grills of yesteryear, those grills light from a, they ignite from a battery, okay? The only electric you need to feed a DCS Series 7 grill is um, to operate the rotisserie and the, um, the rotisserie motor and the light that's mounted on it. DCS Series 9 is very, very different. They, they do away with the battery, okay? The rotisserie light and motor has its own electrical uh, plug, but the grill itself has an electric uh, setup. And that is going to operate not only the ignition, it's gonna operate the lights in the hood, it's also gonna operate the lights and the bezels, which you want working because that's actually a nice safety feature. If you have the grill, like you think it's off, but it's still slightly on, gas is being released, that, that bezel is gonna be lit and let you know, hey, you know what, the grill's not off. And that's particularly helpful if you've had about, you know, five or six, 8% IPAs at a barbecue, all right? I mean, that light's gonna be on, you know it's off, you don't want gas leaking out. So, um, very important safety feature. It's only gonna work unless you have the grill plugged in. Now, learn from my mistakes, because Senor Smoke is not infallible. Um, we did a build earlier in the year. There's a Series 9 36 inch grill in the island. Uh, everything's done. Guy calls me the next day. My girl's not lighting. I mean, the girl's not lighting. I said, so one of my guys go over there and check the battery. Well, again, we just found there's no battery. Okay. There was a separate electrical system for it. We had to get an electrician come in, pop in a box. Boom. He's done. Good to go. Don't repeat my mistake. Make sure that you have juice underneath that Series 9 grill. And this is the same thing. The same thing for the DCS power burner, which is getting a lot of play now as well. Does not use a battery, you need a plug. Okay, on to point number two. Um, this is probably not as important to the masses, but to the complete nuts out there who I do tend to get as customers, and I consider myself one as well, who wants to really, really push it when it comes to using different devices out on their grills. This will resonate. Um, the DCS Series 7 has the way that the grates are set up on it they they only allow you to slope them which is a nice thing because that's like dcs's hallmark grease management system so sloped grate means grease fat etc runs off because there's a pitch it goes into the trough from the front very easy to discard it from the drip tray voila series nine gives you two options in terms of the way to use the grates you can slope them or you can have them completely flat like most other grills. Now, I had a customer who called me, and this is what really um, inspired me to make this video. He told me, and he has a DCS, he's doing another outdoor kitchen now, and he's like, listen, um, I can't use the DCS Series 7. He goes, the, the slope grates don't work for me. And I'm like, why? And he goes, I use a plancha all the time. And a plancha, for all you don't know, it's like, it's like a different type of griddle. Um, it's like a raised griddle, it's on legs. And um, he said that with the slope, it creates instability with the plancha and the way that it's, that it's set up. So he has to have something that's completely flat. Now there are other cooking devices out there, similar to planchas, that I could see that they need some rigidity, some stability underneath them. And if it was on a sloped surface, I could see that potentially being a problem. So I put this out there, if you are one of those grillers, who is going to start putting different things on top of the grill, not just using the grill surface. Series 7 is not for you because it's only on the angle. Get the Series 9, you can either pitch it or you could have it flat, good to go, all right? 
That's it, two important points of difference between these two grills. And if there are any questions, hit me up, questions at rofgrills.com. I'm also gonna throw this in as well, folks. If you're thinking of buying a DCS grill or any components, you must act by New Year's Eve because the prices are going up. We just got the wholesale price schedule. It's gonna take effect January 1st, and it's ugly. You guys wanna save money? Make the purchase by New Year's Eve. Thank you very much for your time.